Hello guys and welcome to episode 79 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as Loki Felhart going for world domination. Previously we had some pretty close battles that's for sure. This time around I'm hoping things go a bit more smoothly as we carry on into our opponent's lands. Let's continue with our turn. So let's see who needs to be moved. We've got a few people who actually need leveling up. We've got Azul Gorm there who could do with a point. Put that into Slaughter Lord, I guess, for him. And also Murdredessa leveled up. She doesn't have a name of power yet, so we'll go ahead and choose a revered name of power for her. Beast Binder or Fang Shield. Go for Beast Binder. She does have some of these beasts. She actually has quite a lot of beasts, so that'll be quite useful. Right, next up, Eleanor. Now, Eleanor's uh, suffering from the plague, so probably just want to keep her where she is. I'm just going to move her out and in again so that we use some of her movement so that the notification goes away on the bottom right. Uh, then we have Caladriel. Caladriel's heading up. Fine. We've got Ganesh here. Uh, she can just press through to Zufbar, I guess. Actually, it might be better if I just have her head up to, like, Eshin. Because we'll, we can have Azul Grom take Zufbar and Grom Peak. These two can head up to Nashrak's lair. Yeah, she can take Eshin and Castle Drakenhof. And we've got Loki here ready to take Castle Tempelhof. And he's going to head up to like Mordheim, Essen, Nagenhof, and so on. We've got Evelyn. Let's go take Brass Keep. We're just out of range there. That's savage. The spell was leveled up. Uh, let's just get Earthing for the miscast chance reduction. It's a shame she can't colonize that this turn. I assume that's going to be a colonization. Uh, Velatros moving up here. We'll get these to move up as well. Great. Right, over to Bikwish. Bikwish took Karagdron. Now needs to head up towards the Greenskins here. I'll have her go through the mountain. She'll take a lot of attrition heading that way, but it's fine. Don't need the Woodman's Hut. We'll just go for the Watchtowers there. For now. We'll probably get the Woodman's Hut at some point. Right, Tarnig. And come down to Troll Ford. Hopefully he can just colonize that. Uh, Billig. Has taken Black Iron Mine. I shall not so should head up towards the dwarves. Alright, who is next? I think that's more or less everybody moved. We've got Deccan Cart and Sabioth that we can just want to move around a little bit. Kakalkin. I might have him head up towards Grom Peak for a second to see if there's any troops up here. Doesn't look like there is. Dark it's heading over towards Kislev. Kislev's looking pretty weak, honestly. We've got Tothalthrak, who is heading up as well. And we've got Kagarosh, who's going to be chilling up here. Not going to use him to do any agent actions this turn, because I want him to stay alive so that we keep line of sight there. At the Clog Coast, probably wants enforced tribute payments. We've got Commandment available in Nordland as well. It's going to do enforced tribute payments there. Element upgrade at Val's Anvil. Switch that up to enforced tribute payments. Doom Glade, we can do the same. Upgrade these. Upgrade the Red Desert, of course. Upgrade all of these buildings, including Matorka. Get Marak upgraded. I strike forward. I probably need to keep the de demand hype on hostages for now. Because of the public orders minus 68. It's only going up by two a turn. Good we're getting a lot of upgrades in though. We're here at Nagarond. 
Time to build all the slave pens. Yes, boys. Let's make loads of money from these slaves. How many slaves do we have in here? 13% currently. Actually, if I'm doing that, I should probably change the commandments to ones that increase income from slaves. Right here, we can set it to increase slave production quota. I think overall that will be better in the long run than the tax rate. Slave pens everywhere. Great. We'll do the same at Nagarond. We'll change this to increase slave production quotas. I'm just upgrading all of those buildings. Dragoth Deep can start to build some walls. Talapheim, that's upgraded. Good stuff. Toram Rock can be maxed out. Change that to enforce tribute payments. Same deal here. So many buildings. It's I right, wanted my building in these slots. <laughs> we probably want the sorceress's abode. And the last slot, I'm probably just going to throw our black roads in there. Now, this one can be changed to enforce tribute payments already. The golden tower of the gods there. And now we're already to black arcs, which is good. I was a little bit worried we'd be on that kind of stuff for ages, but yeah, we'll get the upgrade to the uh, cane uh, weapon there on the Black Ark. None of these need to upgrade much. Admiral Sokos Barbstorm's leveled up again. But honestly, he's just going to sit there for the rest of the game in the Galleon's graveyard. Looking after that for us. Cool. That's it. Let's move on to the next turn. Last defenders. Probably not too much they can do. Just running after us with their agents. Chero Flesh does have the Sword of Cain. Going to move around. Maybe, just maybe, we can take out that army. Templar Cain is just raised at the moment. They didn't take it over, I don't think. I'm just uh, speeding up any agents we see, because I'm more interested in armies than anything else. There's Thorgrim. Making a new army. Build it with uh, regiments of renown <laughs> so far. You can pretty much create like an entire army out of regiments of renown. Right, the Terrors of the Dark Strait, they keep running away from us, which is kind of annoying. Uh, let's organize a hunt. Cool. Right, and off we go again. <laughs> Lurishian. He's getting closer and closer to actually fighting something. Uh, we will be able to... Move over towards Serpent Coast. Ooh, that might have been a bad idea. Uh, actually, no, it looks like it's fine. Uh, Noskrasith. And Yastra can take this settlement. Probably going to use Yastra to take it because she has the least amount of movement range. And I'm going to move him to the edge over here. The we're going to make the attack. Take them. And then we're going to have that army move further over so that it can reinforce the other one should it get attacked. Just throw all these buildings in there. Lovely. Beast Actually, does this guy have decent armor? Yeah, he's pretty kitted. 
What about Nostraseth? Wow, he uh, really isn't. <laughs> we'll give him the armor of um, eternal servitude. He has the sword of bloodshed, which is actually pretty good. Give him a death mask. Potion of strength's good. Yeah, he can continue. Should be in range to reinforce. I tame the untamable. Yashra's level 38. Probably never going to reach level 40, actually. the dreaded slaver and uh, she's probably never going to reach level 40 because these two will take seven coast before she can get there I command the beasts all right there shins leveled up in this army grab flamestorm and Malinir, the beast magic he's leveled up uh, we may as well just grab the amber spear I guess okay over to Corvishish. He's just happily replenishing right now. Supreme Sorceress of Grass. Uh, either of these? Nope, they're both just black arcs. Are we going to have to chase Cheriflesh? Need my warp token stash. I guess Corvishish could move up as well. We've got Helebron who can take um, the Circle of Destruction, but then again, I could just. Attack Tretch, and if Tretch moves back, hopefully we're in range here to make that attack. With Kadril, we are perfect. This was your destiny, spreading terror. So we get rid of Tretch. That gives us extra speed. It's pretty good actually, like 12% speed for her. If she gets on a dragon, that'd be really, really handy. So let's head Helebron back down to the Circle of Destruction. And Kadril can definitely take the Temple of Cain next turn. That's good. That's really good. I would definitely want Lashmaster. He's got a lot of beasts and monsters. Yeah, Corvishish. Uh, let's just move her up. Maybe that will encourage this army to attack us. And if it does, then that's good. Can we get to the Isle of... Oh, Isle of Whites. I mean, we can land on shore there. The so let's just do that. Of right, Tineska's moving round. Same as Lorishian. Seria up here. Getting closer to the Three Citadel Lord. of Lead. It's good. Surprised that Wintertooth hasn't taken more ground. Especially with like a lot of these settlements nearby. Like, if we take Tarnig to Troll Ford, yeah, that's just a colonization, which really surprises me. Well, from there, once he's replenished a little bit, we can go and take Bjorning's Gathering. This one's going to take back Ice Bay. Pretty much going to set myself up to wipe out Wintertooth in one turn. All these armies moving up here, it's kind of crazy. All right, Malekith, to the Tower of Crack you go. Bay of Blades, may as well throw in the torch posts here, just to get the public order up. Don't care too much about the garrisons in those settlements. Move Alana forwards. She's now in range to recruit some troops. I think what I'm going to do is uh, grab her some more Calibdus. Seems good. Alright, Marosha can cease. head the same way as all these other armies. No, not possible. Good. Supreme Sorceress of Grass. Ellen needs to head up here as well. Lord of Fear. Let's keep them all moving up. Dreadlord. Rather than clicking every single time down the list, I'm just going to click any that are already here. Oh, we should probably go kill these guys. The Black Spider Tribe. Yeah, we're going to have to go and kill those. So we'll send an army back down to deal with that. It might be worth just sending a couple down here. Because then we can corner them. Alright, Tehek. And Marathi. Alright, Marathi. 
I am the first sorceress. That's a pretty savage army. Limitless power. I'm hoping we can double team. But not sure they're gonna let us. I think where Zach's gonna fall back. Yeah, he's gone. But we're not in from the shadows. I am Morathi. Yeah, we're not in attrition, which is great. So we can probably attack Nashrak's lair with Wezag inside and kill him. Supreme Sorceress of Grant. Uh, Morgan's good to go. No she can also join these other armies. You waste my time. Bloodshed becomes uh, Murdredessa. She can actually jump out onto Dark water here, go and attack Erengrad, same turn. Go kill. Uh, maybe not. She's still pretty close though, which is fine. Uh, Murdredessa Beastbinder can come over towards Castle von Raken. Let's just fix it, this settlement up. We'll put up the Dreadmance and Salzamund. We also want the Arson's house. Cool. So just doing some of those as I go along so that we don't have like a massive notification list to go through. Wield the wild. Right, as we'll go on. Could in theory attack Zufbar. But I think Zufbar's probably going to have a pretty big garrison. Oh no, it's not too bad. No. That's not bad at all. Submit. Yeah, let's go for it. To the slaughter. As all Gorm's army is quite interesting. Feed, minions. All of these beasts and the Bloodrack Medusas. Got a really good army for assaulting the walls. Like these Harganeth Executioners can probably slice through Iron Breakers quite well. Of course, Thorgrim himself is, is pretty rough to deal with, but Azogorm's not exactly weak, I don't think. Uh, it probably kitted him out quite well. It does have Hydra Blade and P Potion of Strength. Those together will do so much damage. That's 100% bonus to armor piercing weapon damage and base weapon damage. Evading. Let's jump on in. The beasts alone could probably just win this battle. I do have some gyrocopters. I thought Thorgrim had uh, more regiments of renown than he does. Oh, never mind. Right, so yeah, these can all just... We'll keep this one in the same group as the other beasts. These can all go climb the walls. Okay. Off we go. Just going to have these off to one side for now, these Bloodwreck Medusas. Just hitting the gate preemptively here. I don't actually have any magic. That's something we definitely don't have. Yeah, I'm hitting this preemptively so the beasts don't have to do as much damage. Uh, we can always, like, change to multi-shot and start hitting the Thunderers on the walls there. We could certainly shoot some of these Thunderers with the Medusas. I'd... I don't think we have the angle to do that. We'll move them in after the gate's crushed. It shouldn't take too long. These do look cool though, and having more than one is certainly something that we don't normally see. Right, the gates are open. Let's charge on in. Oh no, not quite. Nearly there. Go on, a couple more hits. There we go. In we go. Now we don't have any magic, so this is just going to be an utter grind of melee forces going up against each other. Black 
I uh, might as well uh, send a couple units to the center. I mean, how Gareth execution is should do quite a lot of damage. These ones can kill the thunderers on the walls, and these ones getting up here should slice through these thunderers. Ooh, my lord is uh, getting pretty low on health already. We can't allow him to die. We'll move him back out for the time being. Right, let's have these attack the Thunderers. Because we're losing loads of dudes unnecessarily at the moment. The Skyhammer is doing quite a lot of damage, actually. It's like a Gyro Bomber, but it's like a single one. Right, if I can get my Medusas in here, that would be great. They should be able to. They're pretty good at pushing through enemy forces. They have a lot of mass. Yeah, I can have one sort of stand behind here. And have one stand behind the Thunderers as well. Might have a couple just go and hit the Grudge Thrower. Okay, not bad. Right, this one can attack the long beards there. This one can hit the thunderers. Actually, let's just have them both hit the long beards. It might be better to just have these go into melee with the grudge throwers, honestly. Good. Right, let's have these all just focus on Thorgrim now. See if we can take him out. Oh, bad damage coming in there. And these blood rag medusas. <laughs> Having more than one doing the attacks looks so cool. Wow, they got decimated. Alright, we're taking care of that grudge thrower quite well. That's good. The only problem we're having is the, uh, the gyro bomber. But I could probably uh, take out the gyro bomber if I started firing at it. I'm going to shoot the Iron Breakers from behind here to help out the Blackguard and Agarond. Now that unit of Blackguard probably wants to retreat just because they are getting so low. It's kind of ridiculous. We'll cover them off with another unit. I'm going to have my Beastmaster go for the Thane. I think Thorgrim's just being encircled at the moment. Get my Bloodrack Shrine out of there. Just so she doesn't die. Okay, so they've decided to land. With the gyro bomber. It's okay. We can go for them in melee. I actually have pretty decent weapon strength on these blood rag medusas. Oh, it looks like there's victory anyway. Uh, 
Uh, looks like it's just Ungrim alive here. Get a decent hit in there. Should be able to kill him. He might take out my lord if I'm not careful. Ooh, very close. Look at him go. Okay, we got him eventually. <laughs> Ungrim, what a savage. The fact he's unbreakable just makes him so strong. Some seriously good weapon strength versus other lords as well. Oh, happy with that battle. As all gone did well, we did lose a couple units. But we took Zufbar, which is a very large prize. We've got extra research rate faction wide and minus construction costs reduction. Uh, melee attack. Oh, there we go. Another one with the melee attack, magic resistance, and missile resistance. That's nice. We didn't even level up from that. That's sad. Alright, let's grab a couple of shades there. And uh, we'll demolish that building, fix that one, demolish that, demolish that, fix that up. Admiral Sokos Barbstorm needs to level up. Okay. I guess we may as well build up his Blood Rat Cauldron as well. Uh, let's go through the rest of these armies over to Muriel. Uh, she can probably just move up and help. Circes take Shotrakan. Very good. Praise be to Hekati. And now I think I'll have her head over to Kazaborkrag. Supreme Sorceress of Grand. Right, she's got Night Lord <laughs> for whatever reason. I think we're just going to go through life leeching to like evasion, get the fate of Buna and stuff with her first because her troops aren't very good. There's no point really upgrading them. So much death. Master of cruelty. All right, for Helenor. Just going to move her Dread so that I know she needs to stay where she is. Supreme Sorceress of Grand. Ganesh. She's ready to take Castle Drakenhof, so let's do that. Uh, there's actually a pretty serious army in here. I wonder if we can get away with an order resolve. Yeah, we can. Cool. Because that would be a pretty simple attack, honestly. Right, we're going to throw in the torture post there. We're occupied Drakenhof. Good. And a side skill point for Buskron. Grab the tenacity there. Alright. She's going to head in and colonize that. Get a brass keep. Put that to enforce tribute payments. Good. And we have these heroes that have got to move. It's fine. Continue through our lists. To Lokir. Right, Loki can take Templehof. That's an easy take. Take everything. Perfect. Probably don't need the House of Exiles here. We'll keep the Lumber Yard and Guild Halls for the extra cash. We're almost at 300,000 a turn. Getting there. Slowly but surely. Uh, we are going to want to turn off Slaves. In these new ones that we're taking. Kagarosh can move a little bit. Oh, is that one of the armies moved? It looks like it. I don't know why Luke is always like one of the last ones on the list. Oh, we do have Velotrath, who's slowly but surely captaining up to Capitano Sisiso. Dreadlord of Nagaroth. I'm glad this is keeping up and more Pokodaka here. Looks like next time we might be able to attack them. Wipe out another faction once and for all. 
Like a Kalkin. Just going to double check that I spotted that. Yep, looks like it's fine. Right, let's start heading north then with Kakalkin. And Thark it. Just going to check Khazard Borkarag. It looks like that's fine. We'll head down to Zashink. Pick that out. And then I'll probably come south. Because I don't know where the Empire armies are. They must be building up somewhere. Surely. Hagrif. Upgrade the Eye of Hagrif. Okay, great stuff. Let's go through and build up these buildings. Red Ash River. We can change this to enforce tribute payments. Great. And this has increased slave production. Yeah, that's fine. Ron, we can upgrade that building. Uh, Kingsglade, I guess we throw in the Artisan's house. Get the public order building. Oh, Altdorf's leveled up. And you get some walls in there. May as well get the clay pit as well. A little bit extra income. Broken lands, can change that to uh, increase slave production quota. Definitely want slaves here. Uh, max that out at Val Zamphil, and we'll take the Woodman's Hut there as well. Okay, Castle Carcassonne, upgrade this of course. Railing moot. Hmm. Don't know what I want in that slot. I guess the Altar of Cain is not a bad idea because the corruption is still pretty high there. Oh, only 20%, but more than I'd like. I think it said it was going down to something like 89% if I saw that correctly. 89% untainted, that is, which is good. Okay, that's everything done. Let's move on to the next turn. Just an agent moving up. Last defenders, are they going to do anything? They moved a couple armies up, which is odd. They're just moving away from the settlement. Maybe I can just chase them with one of my armies. Now they're heading around to the Circle of Destruction. Looks like they're just meeting up there for a last stand. Almost wipes out all the Skaven. Right, come on, Reckland. Surely you have some armies. Really, really low balance of power. Like this shows how strong your faction, Yellow, is. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Relative to the other faction, Red. <laughs> Wait, where's the Red? <laughs> Are they assaulting my units? It's just rude. Alright, what are they going to do? Blocked my army. Oh, never mind, they failed. It's good. Okay, that's good as well. The army being inside the settlement there is really, really good. Alright, we will root out some rebels, I think. We could get favoured, which is quite nice, but yeah, we'll just root out some rebels. Exotic Beast Hide Armor is done. And Kakaokin got wounded. Got a quest to take Nashrak's Lair, which we're probably going to do any second anyway. Let's click through all of those messages. <laughs> That's blimey. So many. 
Cool. Okay. Let's head over here. I want to do some stuff with the scheme and just work this out because what do we got in terms of armies? Right. Yeah, they've got an army inside the Circle of Destruction with the Sword of Cain, and then they've got this other army of Vomic Cackle outside. Kadriel can go ahead and colonize this again. So we have that under command. And I think Halabron is probably just going to have to be chill for now. So we'll put her in her grief. I'm going to have Corvishish and Jaden move round towards the Circle of Destruction. So I'll have Corvishish sort of march in that direction. And I'll have Jaden stand in front ready to receive them. Good. Yes. Uh, Helenor's almost out of the woods in terms of the plague. Okay, back to these. Where do we need to go? Azulgorm is heading up to Grom Peak. That's good. We're going to need one to head round and take character of Mar. I'm going to need one to head up to like Eshin. We'll have one move up towards Castle Templehof. I think I have another one head up this way as well. Okay, because we're going to have Ganesh take Eshin now. Take that out. Goodbye. Loot and occupy. Talisman is preservation. And defeated Belagar Ironhammer. He was defending it. Destruction. Oh, that's nice. We got the vineyard and the crafting district. Vineyard gives us a public order. Uh, we are in range to attack Waldenhof, so we may as well do that. Lovely. Another settlement under our command. Eastern Sylvania is complete. So we can throw a commandment in there. That's really good. Right, over to Yastra. How am I going to do this? This guy can certainly head up towards... What's his name? <laughs> Simpson? High Beastmaster. But I guess we'll just Forward. use Noskazith. I tame the and here Show to take Serpent Coast. Take all you could and that I should leave master. these guys with attrition. They'll be more or less forced to come towards us. I'll move up Beware slightly. In case I need Heal to chase him down. I don't know. I'm going to give him a Manticore now. I think these guys do much better on Manticores than... Chariots. She leveled up, so we just gave her a thing. To the victors, we got Jildu here. Well, he can go I ahead and take the Isle of Whites. The predators come. Cool. I command the beasts. Level her up. Get over to Yastra. Yeah, Yastra can kind of move over here as well. He can be in position to chase this one further down. Okay, good. Let's just move these two. And we'll head over to Serir. I think it might be time to attack... Wintertooth. Lord Mainly because Frogs in Pack Ice Bay. So Admiral Barsathar has a good chance to wipe them out here. By Death and Goodbye, Throg. I want it all. Yeah, bonus versus large and weapon strength for that. Corruption is rife. 
put in the torch post there. Lord of the Black. He leveled up from doing that. We'll do Shredded Slaver so we can get Draft Master afterwards. And that means Syria can land and take the Citadel of Lead next turn. I don't know if it's a good idea to start moving up towards Bjorling's Gathering. Just yet. It depends if there's an army there. If there is an army there, uh, then that's a good idea. If it's if there's not, then it's a bad idea. Because I would much rather just take it sooner than later. Hmm. Supreme Sorceress of Grand. All right, well, Malekith can take the Tower of Crack. That's something we can do here. That's good. Fought multiple battles very far away from the capital. Extra campaign map movement range. Perfect vigor. Minus attrition. Cool. I'll take it. We haven't really got that on many of other other lords, have we? Even though we've been fighting on the other side of the world for... A very long time. Right, those two are heading down. These ones are all heading north. Oh yeah, Halebron. I might try and grab this treasure while we're here. Uh, we'll just take the Megali Horde. I don't want to fight a battle there. I was hoping it would be like an army buff or something, but nope. I mean, it looks like we're going to have a fight at Nashrek's Lair. Probably start the battle with Marathi. And we'll have to heck back her up. Okay. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. Gonna leave it here. There really isn't that many more settlements left to take. Uh, we've just got to clean up the Empire. And we've got to finish off the Greenskins here. Take out Wintertooth very, very shortly. Already killed Throg. So it's only going to be Konkata that we need to take. That I can probably take with either Seri or Karlik or both. I'm hoping Tarnig, maybe next turn, can start heading towards Burning's Gathering. And then we just got to sort of encircle the Skaven and uh, wipe them out since we've taken all of the other settlements here. That's yeah, looking good. If you look at the mini map on the top right, we're painting the world a nice dark blue. Yeah, very cool. All right, that's where I'm going to leave it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.